Okay, let's check audio. Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome, welcome. We're going to have Monday. Thank you, everybody, for being here. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you. I wish you the best. I hope everybody is okay at home, healthy, and happy. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. We will continue learning a little bit um, of this thing that is called learning English. Yes, I hope that we can have the chance. We're going to have a really nice topic for this week. And I hope that we can have a lot of practice on that one. Okay, so welcome. It's nice to have you all. Let me show you what's going to be uh, today's class. We're going to test class number nine, as you may know. That's the one for today. We are pretty much at the middle um, of this module. Yeah, which is pretty much uh, time flies, right? Time, time flies, and we're gonna work with section four. What a story, that's the name. We're gonna have past continuous versus simple past. Okay, I love this one, yeah? Because we need to use this together when it comes to communicate something, right? Uh, sometimes we use it. As you may know, uh, there are some topics that, well, in my opinion, right, we don't use them a lot. Yeah, unfortunately, we have this one, which is a somehow difficult right, to, to use that. Uh, we use it in English, but not every day, you know, like maybe once in a month, <laughs> maybe we can use this one. But um, here we are, yeah, learning a little bit of this one. Okay, so welcome. This is class number nine, and it's nice to have you. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna start beginning with a little bit of talking, okay? Uh, we have some questions for you. Here we have this one. How do you get your news? What news do you find interesting? And how important is it to keep up to date? Uh, to keep up to date, oh, that's the way. How important is to keep up to date? So we're gonna try to answer these three questions, okay? Let's begin with you, Marlene. Good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, sounds great, it's nice to have you one more time. Question number one, how do you get your news? Question number two, what news do you find interesting? And question number three, how important is it to keep up to date? Um, the first one. How do you get your news? Um, in the newspaper. Thank you. And what news do you find interesting? Uh, for example, when the news is about the the weather. Oh, that's good. Yes, mm -hmm. the clothes, right? Needs to get dry. Yeah. Yeah, the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Hi, I don't know. Or that's maybe good. when when the news. It's about the the classes, about the school. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. right. In winter, pretty much, we have those kind of things. Yes. And, and what about number three? How important is it to keep up to date? Yes. Uh, teacher, I don't understand very well the, the question. Oh, oh, oh sure. Uh, what is date? Do you understand what is date? No, fecha, dia. Exactly, exactly. So pretty much it, it is about that. Just to be up to date means like, you know exactly what is happening right now. You know what I mean? Like regarding um, to the news. Yeah, regarding to the uh, information. Yeah, that you are like, I don't know, reading or watching. Yes, like... Uh, Roberto, thank you. 
is like uh, mantenerse actualizado or something it, like this, right? Oh, yes. pretty much that's true. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, how important is it to keep up to date? It's really important because, for example, is in the news said that it's going to be raining. We have to be careful for when we go out to the house or for example go to school go to to my job yes okay thank you so much Marlene we're gonna work with Selena hello Selena good evening welcome are, are you happy today Selena Yes, oh, I'm that's happy. wonderful, right? That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to have you. Do me a favor. Questions one, two, and three, please. Go ahead. Okay. How do you get your news uh, on TV? Sometimes in newspaper, but it's not common. And now I read the newspaper. <laughs> that's true. And what news do you find interesting mm, about env environment? Oh. And violence. In international yeah. oh that's good okay. okay and how important is to keep up to date sometimes it's important but um, when i i don't know when i stay uh update or i i am uno se preocupa por eso no sé oh sometimes we get like worried ah, okay. or, or worry like, about that we care uh care about the situation that have happened oh that's a good that's a good point of view do you remember like when we got this lockdown and everybody was dying from COVID-19 uh, those I mean I remember those days uh it wasn't like a really good news back in the days yeah and I remember I used to avoid those news yeah uh just not to think about uh, the COVID-19. That's a good point of view, right? Yes, it's, it's, sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's not the case, right? You get a, like scared when you see a bunch of people dying. And I remember watching this thing from Ecuador. I, I remember, right? Uh, a bunch of people dying on the street and, and that was really scary. That, that got my nerve, really. And, and, and <laughs> Selena, you got yeah, you, oh, your dog is barking. <laughs> what's the name of it? What's the name of it? Um, Selena, what's your dog's name? Anna. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Yes. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. Okay, what about you, Sara? What is Sara? Hello, Sara. Are you here? Hello, hello. No, she isn't. Okay, let's work with you, Giovanni. Questions one, two, and three. Tell me, please. I'm not here. I'm kidding you. Uh, how do you get your news? Okay, the personally, uh, I believe from the social networks, um, it's easier for me to to know and to be up to date under the social media. And what news do you find interesting? Um, from my point of view, I still love technology, probably because I'm studying and, and my career is regarding technology, right? And I still love um, when new computers are uh, in, in the market or new phones, new kind of devices and technology. I still love that. And how important is to keep up to date? <gasps> Wonderful. Well, that, that's a really good question because I think it's too important. Because sometimes when someone else is telling, telling me, for example, about something that I don't know, it's really uncomfortable. And I feel really, really shy or, or embarrassed about something that I don't know. And probably all people know about it. And it's, hey, what about you? Where are you living? Why you don't know about it? And it's really embarrassed for me. And that's why I think it's really important. <laughs> that is true, right? And, and we get like, I have no, no clue about it. I don't know what you're talking about. And like everybody's talking about that thing and we don't know what is that. That's true. Yeah. Okay, uh, yes, uh, these questions are related to the next thing that we're gonna discuss really quick. 
which is about uh, news, right? There are some things that we get from different resources, yeah? And here we have the, uh, the, just the common ones that we usually have every, every day. Uh, let me see if I have an audio here. Let me see if I find audio. Okay, no, there is no audio here. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see. Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet Carolina Rivera. Hello, hello. No, okay, let's work with Olga. Hello, Olga. Good evening, how are you? Nice to have you, Olga. Let me check the chat. Okay, Lino and Michelle. Hi, teacher. How so are good, you, Olga? Good evening. Fine, teacher. Awesome, it's good. You. It's nice to have you one more time. Do me a favor, please. Uh, read the information that you see on the screen. Thank you. All information? Yes, all of it, please. Thank you. Okay, news. Several streets closed after sus suspicious package was found. Health. Why weight loss isn't the same as being healthy? Trending topics. The earth is getting warmer and the things are everywhere. Science. Women, women need more sleep than men because they use more of their brains. Tech. Here are the five must have apps for runners. Art. The top rated TV shows you need to be watching right now. Thank you so much. Which... Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, we have women. Women here and signs. Very good. Thank you so much. Marlene, question number one. Which which story which story would you like to read and why? Which story? Mm, I think I have two because I think that are important. For example, health, why weight loss isn't the same as being healthy. I think that this topic is really important because um, the person um, decide to, to have decide to be healthy, but no more people know about how can to be healthy. And the signs, women need more sleep than men because they use more of their brains. It's really because, it's true because um, the woman's um, thing about uh, all the things about the house, for example, about the children, about how can he, how can she do something for can be good? I don't know. That's it. Thank you so much. That's true, right? Women tend to do that. Yeah, every day. That's pretty much heavy. Roberto, question for you. Uh, which stories which story would you like to read and why? Uh, for me, I think that, that technology, uh, because for example, this uh, here, uh, for example, and, and this topic, uh, here are the five most have apps for runner. Uh, I like to make exercise like uh, two times a week. Uh, so I I wake up in the morning uh, for and I make a runner. I run in my neighborhood. So 
for me, uh, this is uh, good because you can find uh, in the Play Store uh, apps about this, you know, and you can practice more. So I think this one for me is, is good. Oh, that's wonderful, right? Yeah, that's yes. very nice. Yeah, yes. we have some 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 things available on the Play Store that can help us to, uh, mm -hmm. let's say, to to exercise every day. Yeah. I don't make every day, but like two times mm -hmm. uh, per week. Yeah. Yeah, but that sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you so yes, much for sharing that. Okay. That's nice. Uh, Michelle Beatriz. Hello, Michelle. How are you? Uh... Hello, Michelle. Hi, hi. Michelle, hello. Oh, Michelle, he's going to be just listening. Okay, Michelle. No problem. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Neftali. Hello, Neftali. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Question number two, please. What types of stories? Do you usually read online? I usually read uh, teach. For example, uh huh, teach. For example, about the uh, the new phones, about the new TVs, uh, all things like um uh, uh technology. For example, yeah, the five most have apps for runners. For example, I go to. I go to to running on the on the weekend and, and apps for example in your in your phone or in your in your watch can can be help you for a lot of things right so for me it's stage mm -hmm. for me tech. stage tech tech yeah tech. very good so you run okay in mm -hmm. the morning that's good thank you so much. Uh, let me see. Olga, back to you, Olga. Thank you, Olga. Same question. What types of stories do you usually read? Hello, Olga. Olga, Olga. Hello, Hello teacher. Thank you so much. Question number two. What types of stories do you usually read online? Stories online about health, uh, about uh, farandula, farandula. How do you say farandula in English? Mm -hmm. What kind of news say. are those? Yeah. News. Yeah. What kind of news are those? Like farandula. Anybody knows? Actually, I don't have an idea, neither in Spanish. <laughs> I think it's entertainment, something like that. No? Correct me if I'm wrong. Entertainment, I guess. That's, that's the um... kind of stories, entertainment. Okay. Why? Why do you like to, to read those? Well, about hell, because um, it's, it's interesting for my family and me. Uh, in the entertainment because it's a way of um, um, distraerse like about it's, it's... Uh, today okay like like a distraction or like staying away of something yeah. Distraction. Or avoiding something. Yes. That's good. Thank you so much. Okay. And the last one is going to be for you. Uh let me see. Uh Roberto. Where do you get your news? <laughs> uh okay, my news is in social media, uh Facebook, Instagram. I I I like to to watch or to read a news in Facebook. Yeah, for example, uh, Todo Motor 
Okay. Uh, I like I like that page because uh, they they show you the traffic, the accidents, and so uh, for me it's very important because right now I have a uh, a motorcycle and I have to be careful. Uh, and before I leave in my work, yes, uh, I watch the the news, you know. And also, if you live like this, um, uh, I don't. How do you say this place? What is the name of this place? Uh, uh, I, right now, I live in Soyapango, and uh, and 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 by the same by the same time, I I work here in in San Salvador. Oh, so you yeah. travel from Soyapango to San Salvador? Yeah, right? yeah. It's like a like a fourteen. Uh, fourteen kilometer kil kilometers. Kil kilometers, yeah, yeah. Plus, and yeah. also, so, uh, so Yapango is very crowded, right? A lot of traffic. Uh, yeah, so Yapango is crazy. Plaza Mundo. Yeah, yeah but, but now it's in everywhere. You know, we have. <laughs> if we you have live, a... if you live in Lourdes, I'm sorry for you. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. like it's these crazy. people that live lives like these people that live close to Lourdes I'm sorry for them like that's yeah it's crazy yeah, yeah. that's heavy and uh so I like to to read the the news you know about the accidents the, I don't know if you see the accident the yep. last week about oh that, that was woman. disgusting that was ah yes. that was sick and, and and you see that video so oh that was sick so oh. sad. The one that was what... in La Carretera Panamericana, I guess, right? Exactly. Oh, yeah. that was sick. From, from yeah. to the university, uh, Matias, La Jose Matias Delgado. Oh, yes, that was sick. Yes. That was... Poor, poor girl. Oh, yeah. Jesus, that was... Yeah, so so that's why... I, I, I'm, I don't know how to say... I don't, I don't like to see that, that things, but... But for me, it's very important to 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 keep keep up. Yeah, because uh, the traffic by that area uh, was heavy. Like it's heavy, yeah. So really hard, really hard, yeah, really hard. So, yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing that. Oh, okay. Yes, perfect. Please. Wonderful. We're gonna get a little bit uh, with uh, this information. I want you to listen, people, um, about their way to work, and then we're gonna have. Uh, stories that are from exercise one related. So I'm going to play the audio so you can listen and also read at the same time. And then we can relate these stories with the previous exercise. Okay. If you are sharing something, we're not able to listen. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, no audio, right? Yes, thank you. That was good. I forgot. Oops. Oops. No worries. Uh, did it again. Yeah, give me a minute. Hey, so. Thank you so much. Four. What happened? Page 22. Exercise 2. Perspectives. Listen up. Part A. Listen to what people are listening to on their way to work. Which stories from Exercise 1 are they related to? Hey, I just downloaded this incredible app. I used it this morning, and I think you're going to love it. While I was working out, it calculated exactly how many calories I burned. The bad thing is, it tells me I still need to run about four miles to burn off last night's dinner. As scientists were doing some research on the effects of sleep deprivation, they discovered that women need about 20 more minutes of sleep a night than men do. They think the reason is that women tend to do several tasks at once, which makes their brains work harder. Hi, Jeff. We're canceling our meeting in the downtown office this morning. We just learned that the police have closed all the streets in the area. It seems that a man was looking for his lost cat 
when he found a suspicious package inside a trash can. In the end, it was just an old box of chocolates. Unit 4. What happened? Page 22. Exercise 2. Perspectives. Listen up. Part A. Listen to what people are listening to on their way to work. Which stories from Exercise 1 are they related to? Hey, I just downloaded this incredible app. I used it this morning, and I think you're going to love it. While I was working out, it calculated exactly how many calories I burned. The bad thing is, it tells me I still need to run about four miles to burn off last night's dinner. As scientists were doing some research on the effects of sleep deprivation, they discovered that women need about 20 more minutes of sleep a night than men do. They think the reason is that women tend to do several tasks at once, which makes their brains work harder. Hi, Jeff. We're canceling our meeting in the downtown office this morning. We just learned that the police have closed all the streets in the area. It seems that a man was looking for his lost cat when he found a suspicious package inside a trash can. In the end, it was just an old box of chocolates. Okay, so what are we going to do is which stories from exercise one are related to? Like, which stories are related to exercise number one? Anybody? Mm -hmm. What about the first one, this one? Is this related to the previous exercise? Yes, sir. What is this about? It's about tech. It's about tech, right? It's about tech. Very good. What about uh, this number two here? What is this about? Science. About health. Thank you, Sara. About science, okay. Um, about health, probably, right? Because goes related to. Yes. And what about the last one? This one. What is this thing about? Uh huh. Neftali, Selina, Olga. What is the number three about? Mm -hmm. The news. Exactly. And the news are about? The neighborhood. Um, okay. Yeah, but what is the main purpose of this thing? The police have closed the streets. Exactly right. Very good. That's beautiful. Okay. So here we have letter B. Which, which is a message from a co-worker? We have three. Which one do you think is a message from a co-worker? Canceling the meeting. Canceling the meeting. Perfect. Good. And what is a message from a friend? The first one. Oh, the first one, right? The tech message. Okay, very good. What about the uh, the podcast? It should be the one in the middle, right? Very good. Olga, you are going to read number one. Selena, you are going to read number two. And uh, the one about canceling the meeting is going to be for you, Sara. Ready? Let's begin, please. Hey, I just don't download this incredible app. I use it this morning and I think you're going to love it. While I was working out, it calculated exactly how many calories I burned. The bad, the bad thing is it tells me I still need to run about four miles to burn of last night dinner. As scientists were doing some research on the effect of sleep deprivation, they discovered that no. women need about 20 more minutes of, of the sleep at, and at night than men do. 
They see the reason is that women tend to the several tasks as once, which makes their brain work harder. Hi, Jeff. We're canceling our meeting in the downtown office this morning. We just learned that the police have closed all the streets in the area. It seems that a man was looking for his lost cat when he found a suspicious package inside a trash can. In the end, it was just an old box of chocolates. Thank you so much. Okay, I love these readings. Um, yes, Wendy, I got it. I love this reading because if you notice in this reading, we have a combination of the topic we're going to talk about today, which is the past tense and a little bit of the past continuous. Okay, so we combine these two together to talk up to tell the story about something in the past. Before I get into that one, I would I would like to take the attendance. So just give me a minute while I get it. And please, when you hear your beautiful name, say present or I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, let me get your names. Here we go. Okay. Um, hmm. Yes. Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. No, she isn't. Okay, Doki. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Okay, Ethan. What about Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar? Yep, I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you one more time. Janet Carolina Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you so much and good evening. Nice to have you. Welcome. Jose Lino. Uh, Jose Lino, you wrote in the chat, right? Yes. Let me see. Yes, he wrote in the chat. Okay. Thank you. What about um, Karen? I think also you wrote in the chat, right, Karen? Yes. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Avelar, she wrote in the chat. Uh, Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. No, she isn't. What about Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona? Present. Thank you so much and good evening. Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. Michelle, you wrote in the chat, right? Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Nefsali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Um, Olga Marlene Marleni Gomez Rios. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Nice to have you. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. You wrote in the chat, right, Oscar? Thank you so much. And it's nice to have you one more time. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you again. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Present. Thank you so much and welcome, Sara. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. You wrote in the chat, right? Thank you so much, uh, Wendy. And Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Jenny. How are you? Um, no good teacher. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear you about it. Okay. I hope that you can get teacher. excuse me. Teacher. Yes, Jose Lino. I'm here. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much for letting me know. I got you. I am driving right oh, now. Oh, yes. That's what I'm here. That's what I hear. Okay. Be careful. Okay. Nice to have you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. My pleasure. We're going to have a video just to get information about the topic for today. I need you to listen to that Unit one. Unit four. Uh, take notes. And then we can practice a little bit of this. Let's listen and watch. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll learn the difference between the past continuous and the simple past. Additionally, you'll learn how to express your ideas using both tenses. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to learn is that we'll use both tenses together in order to express complex sentences. 
So let me give you a quick example. If you want to explain that you were doing an activity such as eating dinner and you were interrupted, uh, let's say by uh, a friend or someone called you, in order to express this idea, you must use the two tenses together. So for example, I was eating dinner last night when my girlfriend called me. So let's look at the definition. We use the past progressive with the simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. So if we look at this example here, they were enjoying the morning. This is the action that was in progress. And there was an interruption. That interruption was that when the thief stole the briefcase. So now let's look at some other examples. So we got about two or three examples here. And um, again, we are trying to express that whole idea that there was a continuous action happening in the past and there was an interruption that occurred. So the example here is, while he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. So if we look at the timetable here at the bottom, we can see that the past event was, or the past continuous event was, that he was escaping from the bank. All of a sudden, this action was interrupted by this blue event, which is the robber got caught in the revolving door. Um, and then the next example is quite similar. As Jake was running towards the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. The last one is uh, similar. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. Um, just a quick reminder here. Um, also something that we should uh, keep in mind is that usually, not all the time, while and as will follow a past continuous statement. So as you can see, while he was escaping from the bank, as Jake was running. So typically, these words will follow a past progressive uh, statement, if you will. So what we're going to try to do next is we're going to look at a small paragraph and we're going to try to make sense of it. I will do this one together with you guys and you'll do the next one. So what we want to do here is Number one, we want to identify if the statement will be in the past progressive form or it will be a simple past form. In order to do that, we must follow this um, concept that I mentioned that we will use the past continuous for an action that was in progress and the simple past for an action that interrupted that particular action. So the two events are related to one another. Um, sometimes the events may be separate from each other and that's when uh, that's the kind of thing that you need to understand so let's look at the first one what you're gonna do is you're gonna use these verbs in parentheses that you see here and you will either turn those into a past progressive form or a simple past form so while diverge as I mentioned previously uh, typically we will use whenever you see this word it will typically follow a past progressive form but let's make sure that it makes sense while so while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they and here we should use this verb. Okay, but then we have to change that into a past progressive form. So let's see. So while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars. So yes, it looks like this first event is related to the second sentence. Therefore, this is the action that was in progress and this next sentence is the interruption of this event. So let's kind of like make it work. So while divers were working, that will be our first answer there. Off the coast of Florida, they discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars. Okay, so that makes sense for the first one there. Now let's look at the next one. The divers uh, and also the next sentence also appears that there was an action that was in progress and then there was an interruption. Okay, so this one uh, we're going to use the verbs in parentheses. So, so the divers and we're going to say where 
we're going to take that verb and we need to change that into a progressive form. We're filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. And we also need to change that verb into a past form. So there we go. Okay, so what I would like for you to do is to identify whether the sentences are related to one another. And if so, identify what was the action that was in progress and what other action interrupted that first action. So you're going to. And do this use so that was the explanation about these two tenses as you may see we have the present um simple and also i'm sorry the simple past tense and also the past continuum right and what is the main purpose of this one well to talk about something in the past that was somehow interrupted by something yes so it's not like so difficult, I, I think. Um, the only thing you need to figure it out and just to remember like in past tense, um, we need to use regulars and irregulars verbs as well. And with past continuous, remember that we need to use uh, the past tense of the verb to be. And what is the past tense of the verb to be? Uh-huh. What is the past tense of the verb to be? Was, 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 exactly. Was and was were. There. And then after that, you got with ing, right? ing form. So you can uh, work with those things. So I think that part is not pretty much uh, a big deal. The difficult part, I think, is this one with simple pass because we need to be dealing with, with regulars and irregular verbs. And as you may know, that part, I think, is hard. Somehow with the spelling and also a little bit with pronunciation right? Because we need to be careful with ending pronunciation with regular verbs. Yes. Uh, just a quick thing here. Verbs for uh, non-option or states are rarely used in the past continuous, right? I wanted to start, but I couldn't. No, I was wanted. So be careful with this non-action or states uh, verbs. Yes, because we don't use them um, a lot in this in these kind of examples here. Okay, uh, for that one, let's take a look up some exercise so we can uh, have a little bit of practice. Um, here we have circle the best form to complete the conversation. So we have two conversations as you may see, and we have um, two options right here, and we need to pick what is the correct option. Yep, right. So uh, let's begin with number one. What is the correct option in number one? Uh-huh. What is the correct option in number one? How did you break or how were you breaking your arm? How were you breaking your arm? Excuse me, one more time. Uh, uh, were you breaking your arm? The the number two, I think. Uh, where you're breaking your arm? Yeah, that's right. Because mm. read, yeah. try to read the letter letter B answer, just to be clear about it. I guess yeah. is how did you break your arm? Yeah, because I'm reading the answer B, so that's why I'm thinking, oh, um. Because if you read this, the question, like the answer you gave me, it sounds like uh, we don't do that, right? Unless you're a zombie. Yeah, unless you're infected with an umbrella virus, right? <laughs> um, maybe the correct one should be this one, right? Yeah. Because that makes sense related to the question. How did you break your arm? But not how were you breaking your arm? Because um, that is not possibility about it, I guess. You correct me if I'm wrong, right? Yes, for me, and that's what I think. Hey, how did you break your, uh, your arm is the correct one. Yep. Is that clear? Yes? Yes or no? Or you have, 
you you disagree with my answer? Or does ah, yes, teacher. Yeah, oh. I think that that one. Oh, perfect. I'll Thank you so much. I, yes. Thank you so much. And then we have letter B. Uh, it's a crazy story. Ramon and I uh, rode our bikes in the park. We're riding. We're riding. Okay. We're riding. We're riding. Our bikes. Oh, yes. We're riding. That is correct. We're riding our bikes in the park when. Run. When the cat run. Oh, very good. When a cat oh. run out in front of me. I went or I was going pretty fast. I was going. I went. Very good. I was going. Thank you so much. Pretty fast. So when I try, try, tried, exactly right. When I try uh, to stop, I I was going. When I went off the road, yeah, and fell. Yes, that is correct. And fell. Oh, then we have letter A. That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> then we have two options. Did you go or were you going? Did you go? Oh, very good. Did you go to the hospital after it happened or what's happening? What is the correct option? After it happened. happened. Yeah, happened. Very good. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. Luckily, we weren't or weren't being too far from. We weren't. We weren't. We weren't. Exactly. Right. We weren't uh, too far from city hospital. So we went or we were going there. Went. We went, right? Yeah, there is sometimes in English we have this thing that is called the rhythm of English, right? We we say the expressions and then we we pay close attention the way it sounds and we can say, oh, no, this one goes with this one because that's the way I hear sometimes the expressions. Thank you. Sara, you are going to be letter A and your partner, Selena, is going to be letter B. Ready? Let's begin. Number one, please, Sara. How do you break your arm? It's a crazy story, Ram. I were riding our bicycle in the park when I cut, ran, ran out in front of me. I was going pretty fast, so when I tried uh, to stop, I went off the road and fell. That's the did you go to the hospital after it happened? Yes, look, we weren't too far from city hospital, so we were no, so we went there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Luckily, luckily, okay. And that was like, I was like, oh, it's crazy, it's a crazy story. Ramon and I, so don't forget the passes, okay? A little pass, so then you can start with the rest, okay? Very good, thank you so much. Let's work with number two. You will never guess what happened or what's happening to me this morning. What is the correct option? Past continuous or past tense? You will never guess what happened. Exactly, right. So we're going to work with past tense. Very good. Uh, what? Well, I brush. I was brushing my teeth when suddenly... I was, I was brushing my teeth when suddenly the water... Okay, when suddenly the water <laughs> went off or was going off. But it was good. Yeah, I'm sorry, right? Mm -hmm. When or what's when going? When. when, right? When. when off. Yes. 
Then we have, I had, I was having toothpaste all over my mouth. I, I had, I had, that is correct. I had toothpaste all over my mouth and I couldn't wash it off. So what do you do? What were you doing? What is the great option? What did you do? Exactly. So what do you do? Right. Very good. Then we have number four. Fortunately, fortunately, I had or I was having present simple. I'm sorry, past simple or past continuous. I had. Exactly. I had. Very a good. A big bottle of, a, a big bottle of water in the refrigerator. So I use I was using the water to rinse my mouth. Okay. <laughs> What is the correct option? I was I was using water. I used. I used. Uh -huh. I used. Very good. Used. I used. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, we're gonna have you, Olga, and Jenny. Hey, Jenny, you are going to be letter A, and Olga, you are letter B. Ready? Number two, please. Let's begin. You'll never guess what happened to this morning. What? Well, I was brushing my teeth when suddenly the water the water went um when up I had was I had to pass all over my mouth. And I couldn't wash wash it up. So what did? Mm. So what did? Fortunately. Do so. What did you do? Fortunately, I have a big bottle of water in my refrigerator. So I use that water to rinse my mouth. Yeah, very good. So if you see, it's not a big deal, as you may see, right? Um, you were doing something in the past and you were interrupted by something else or somebody else. Yep. That's the big thing. Yep. So it's not it's not like something I guess difficult. The difficult part I guess is to be playing with with uh regular and irregular verbs. I mean, for me, that's the difficult part because because it's not it's not easy. We have a lot of verbs, yes, a lot of them, and and sometimes in English, when when you don't use those verbs, you forget. Yeah, that is hundred percent true. Sometimes even that kills me. Yeah, because there are some things that I don't use in English, and, and then when somebody asks me, "Excuse me, what is the meaning of this?" I have no idea what is that about. <laughs> yes, because I don't use that. I mean, I saw it once, and then. Not anymore, yeah. So, um, that kills me, yeah. Sometimes, but um, yeah. So with practice, we can improve those. We're gonna work with verbs. Look at this beautiful verse here. Okay, Marlene, please tell me the verbs here, please. Just read. Broke. Stand. Yes. Found. Heard. Looking. Shut it. Shout it. Shout it. Stayed. Waiting. Went. Wandered. Yes. Amarlene, can you did you notice one characteristic from these verbs? Something that you can say, oh I can identify these verbs. What is the tense or what are the tenses that we have here in these verbs? Mm, what are the tense? The tenses, yes. Broke is present. Okay, for example, this is locking. And what is the difference between this locking and the stay? Mm -hmm. I know the meaning is, is different. Like, that's quite obvious, right? But but it's like um something that you can say, oh, look at this one. It's different because this and this. Mm, it's different because it's in a... Uh... Continuous. Oh yes, that is correct, right? This is in yeah. continuous locking, and the other one is in past. 
and past tense, right? Uh, what kind of verbs do we have here in past tense? Regular and irregular verbs. Which ones are regulars and which ones are irregulars, Marlene? Mm. Regular is drunk. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Mm. How do you know that a verb is regular? Let's say. With uh, then it is ed. Oh, that is correct. That is correct, right? So that's that's the first thing. So which ones are with ed? They wondered, shouted, shouted. Very good. Shouted. Exactly. So those these ones are regular or irregular? Irregular. Oh no, it's the opposite. <laughs> It's the opposite. It's the opposite. Oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Oh okay. my gosh. That's okay. No problem. Okay. This is my my problem. Oh, that's why we're here learning, right? Yeah. So don't worry about it. Okay. So these ones are regular. Regular verbs, exactly. Okay. And the rest of these ones, as you see, are like yeah. exactly. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna use these verbs to complete the conversation here. Well, I think it's not a conversation. It's like information. Look at this here, Carla. Selena Hernandez. Look at this picture. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you see here in this picture? Tell me, please. <laughs> Describe? Yes, tell me. What is it? Don't tell me this is the office. because. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because some people say, oh, it's excuse me, I'm, go I'm going to go. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, describe it, please. Thank you. Okay, I see the toilet and I, the... <laughs> not the go. I don't know what to tell. What is this thing? What is this thing? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Marlene, can you help her, please? What is this thing? Oh, this thing here. That is that is huge. <laughs> that is very important. Like, if you go to the, if you go to a restaurant, right? <laughs> and <laughs> it's a must. This is a must, right? <laughs> you should have. I got you while you're laughing now <laughs> that you said that. No, because this is a must, right? This thing, this object here, is a must. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, forget about it. Okay, so uh, thank you so much. We're going to use these verbs to uh, talk about this bathroom. Okay. Okay, let's begin. A 69 years old grandmother in Paris went to the bathroom and... What is the other one? <laughs> what is the verb that goes here? Three uh, there for 20 days. Oh, Jesus. This is not good. State. Oh, yes, that is correct. It's, it sounds scary. It sounds scary from the beginning, if you see, right? Um, it sounds scary from the beginning, right? So look at this one. A 69 years old grandmother in Paris went to the bathroom and stayed there for three days. What happened? Uh, she was... Mm -hmm. Locking. Oh, yes, very good. The door. Locking, okay. She was locking the door, the lock. Broke. Oh, perfect. Broke, okay. Broke, very good. The broke. She couldn't <laughs> open the door. She. Jesus. Found. No, I'm sorry. Found. She. No. Okay. Shouted. For help. Shouted. Okay. Shouted. She shouted for help. But no one. No one? Here. Oh, heard. Very good. Heard. Oh, heard. Very good. Number heard. Uh, her because her, her bathroom had no windows. After nearly three weeks. The woman's neighbors, oh Jesus, mm -hmm. was my teacher. No. <laughs> oh, okay, wonder, very good. Wonder, um, 
where she was. Firefighters broke into her apartment and found. Very good. Found. Oh, look at this one. This story is quite interesting. Found her in a very wicked state. Wicked state. While she was waiting. Waiting. Very good. Oh, be careful when you go to a restaurant, right? Because the rescue, she drank. She drank. Oh, this is a nice story. Look at this one. It's a nightmare, right? Okay. This is the way we use the past simple and the past continuous at the same time. We're going to stop it here, people. Unfortunately, the time is over. I wish you the best. Be careful with the bathrooms, right? See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye -bye. Okay, see you tomorrow, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Good night.